Hello, my name is Ash and I'm going to tell you how to make the Mass Effect 3 ultra wide. So by default, see I'm playing on an ultra wide monitor and by default here, you don't have the ability to play the game at uh, 16 by nine, uh, 21 by 9. It's not even in, not in the configuration options, it's not in the uh, get in game menu, you know, it's impossible to get wide uh so you kind of got you know i've got it on windowed borderless here at the moment but obviously not too practical because obviously you've got the windows bar at the bottom and if you try and full screen it it kind of ends up just looking stretched out which is no good so we've got extras when one day everything loads extras options gra graphics Kind of shit out of luck here. Can't go to 3440 at all. Uh, if I go to full screen, windowed, full screen. Press back, see what happens here. End up with just black bars at the side, that stuff. And obviously, the other, well, on my, on my monitor, it's black bars on either side. But for you guys, you just see the full screen with two black bars at the side anyway. Which is no good, no good at all. Um, so, what we want to do instead, uh, how we edit this, it's on this side now, weird. I actually kind of like it like that. Um, so what we do instead, if I just fix it, there we go. So what we have to do instead, we have to edit this in the game settings INI file which can be found in, in your in your game in your documents file. So you go to this PC, documents, bioware, mass effect free, bio game, config, and it'll be this file here that you can edit with uh, notepad. Uh in this file you can actually edit quite a lot of stuff. What we're looking for here is our resolution. You can manually change that to the resolution. So what we have here is for the X, which is the horizontal width uh resolution. I'm going to set that to 3440 because it's a 1440p uh, 21 by 9 monitor. I do assume, I will assume that there is, you can do this for a 32 by 9 monitor. I haven't seen any 32 by 9 gameplay of Mass Effect 3. But uh, yeah, whichever resolution you're looking to use, you know, be it 1080p widescreen or 13. 540 or 4K widescreen, you know, just change it to whatever you have relevant here. You have other options down here that can change the uh, frame rate, max frame rate, uh, so you can uncap it from 60 to above, to above 60, but I wouldn't recommend doing that because the game kind of bugs out. Uh, game's kind of built around running at 60 FPS, any higher than that, and you'll start running into glitches and harder enemies. Uh, so now we've got that saved we can boot up the game again. Now, it's not, it's in windowed mode, but we still have black bars at the side, but that doesn't, ah, that, that, that still exists. Um, but there, we have another problem now. As you can see here, The uh, top of the title is clipped off, and we we'll go into our uh, menus here. See the loading screens text is off, off kilter as well, and we can't even uh, create a map. Let's just look at that. Create a match, so just barely clip the confirm button at the bottom of the screen so this is a this is an issue that a lot of people run into when they play ultra wide if they try it out for the first time you get stuff like this where the hood is completely fucked and this is what happens with not just mass effect 3 a lot of games have this issue where the hood is uh pretty 
Well, the hood looks fine on this screen, but uh, everything looks a bit too thing. But the menu navigation is is definitely inconvenient. So I wouldn't recommend that. So what I'd suggest instead is downloading a program called Flawless Widescreen, which allows us to basically fix the game. So Mass Effect 3 over here, we can gives us a, the ability to fix the HUD, fix the FOV and fix the render. Uh, and in addition to that, we can configure it our uh, display detection, which I do over here, to make it so the HUD is uh, a lot more uh, presentable. Like, so that, that should fix the menus in the screen. And obviously, uh, if you're using a 1080 widescreen, you'd probably have different settings enabled. Uh, I'm not sure what the 1080p settings would be, but uh, that that's something for you to experiment with. But if we play the game now with this, and by the way, this program has to be running in the background alongside with Mass Effect 3. And that, same goes with any, any of these games. You need to run this game alongside any other uh, game that requires this software for functioning ultra, uh, ultra wide screens. Uh, I won't, to be fair, because I play multiplayer most of the time, I do not know how this will look with uh, cutscenes. I guess, uh, so I can't really speak on that, but as, yeah, as you can see here, the title is actually somewhat in frame. Yeah. Except for that part. What's going on here? Bit zoomed out. FLV fix. Configure settings, configuration, display update. Oh, we didn't we didn't save the changes. Yep. You can see that it's a bit it's a bit on the weird side. Options. You see here there we can actually don't want to immediately fix the menu, but if we go into the loading screen now we can see that the text here is actually on the computer so we can actually see our uh, menu options here like, right even though we're playing ultra wide screen the menu background is still only 16 by 9 because that's how the game was designed so most of our uh, menu navigation will be you know 16 by 9 uh, this is kind of like a radiant background sort of deal but yeah so yeah i've got fixed set fixed tile got a bit of green here Funnily enough, the FOV slider actually works on the uh, on the menu, although it has a Hall of Mirror effects. It's kind of quick, interesting how that works. But even if you don't have sixteen by nine, um, no, 20, well, 21 by nine monitor or whatever, um, this still is a pretty nice mo pr program to have because it does have an FOV slider. You don't have to edit your FOV through the iron eyes or anything like that you can basically have it out of the box just adjust it like so it's pretty nice so let's see let's just see how it looks at default fov it's a bit screen thing but look there you go see here everything looks good we've changed our hood so it's kind of more centered to what we have usually um so you're not looking left to right to see where you know your ammo count um you could probably like change the hood as well to make it like 1920 by 1080 so it's a, even more centered like but i think might that might be a bit overkill but like I said, experiment with what you want but yeah this gives us a you know default fov this is actually pretty nice because you can get a lot more screen screen real estate if we go to, well, we can't pause it, but let's just say, for example, we just pop our thing. I like to have it at 40. I don't know. Game looks nice. Boom. 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 There we go. 
pretty good. So that's a, that's a basic run around. Uh, I, again, I don't know what the cutscene situation is with the campaign because I play primarily multiplayer. Um, so if, if the, if the, FO, so it might be better to play at default FOV because it might fuck with the cutscenes. You might have like act, play it like NPC actors like stood out at off off cat what would be off camera by sixteen point nine low FOV default. You know, doing shit in the background. But uh, whatever. That's techno jargon. You guys came here for the uh, tutorial on on how to do ultra wide. So there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're interested in any Mass Effect free uh, multiplayer content, please uh, subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitch at Captain Ash. Follow the script, the links down below, and I'll also leave some links for ultra wide, uh, full uh, the full screen, flawless full screen, whatever the fuck the program says, full flawless wide screen. Yeah, I'm gonna do a tutorial that where I don't even know what the name of half the shit I'm using is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you when I see you.